Welcome to episode 2 of our MSC Virtuosa Vlogs. In this episode we take you through the brand new muster drill, we have an amusing sail away, and we sample what MSC has to offer in the way of food and entertainment. Our first stop was the Marketplace Buffet, which can be found right at the back of the ship on Deck 15. The Marketplace Buffet is open from 6am to 1am the following day. It serves breakfast, lunch and dinner, and there's also snacks to be had in between. The first thing you'll notice on entry is the change of protocol. You'll be asked to wash your hands in one of the wash basins provided. You'll then have your temperature taken, and you'll be asked to keep your mask on until you're seated at a table. When you find a table, you'll notice that some of the seats are blocked off. This enables social distancing to be maintained. But if you are in one party of more than two, you are all allowed to sit together. If you'd like a drink to accompany your meal, all the tables have a QR code. You simply scan it and it brings up the beverage menu for you to choose from. So Paul is back with a very small portion for him. I know. So what's the story? It's the first thing I come to and I fancy the burger. That's why I've had a little burger. Yeah. And some fries. Everything's behind glass, you don't touch anything at all. You just tell them what you want, they put it on a plate and then you owe to try it. They put it on top. Bob. So you don't know what else is up there? You no, not at all. Stop to burgers. <laughs> first thing I come to. Ah. And I've just gone for a bit of a strange combination of just a bit of roast beef which is tender and beautiful. And a little Caesar salad to start. He's back. Wonder what he's got. Oh, let's see. Oh, he's got the roast beef as well, which is absolutely stunning. And gravy and spuds. I went to have a look at it. The lady came across. Do you want to try some? I said, No, I'm all right. I'm like, no, you have to try some. So you have to try some. It's amazing. So you should see how big it was when we started. <laughs> so that was me having to try a little bit. <laughs> oh. You can't complain about the portions, Paulie. No. <laughs> the curries and all look really good. Mm, like no, like, great selection. They've got a pasta station. She said, Do you want some um, curry? And I had my trade, and I said, No, I said, I've got a plateful <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> After a lovely late lunch, we headed off in search of the swimming pools. Also found on deck 15 is the atmosphere pool. Just like the rest of the ship, the sun beds are socially distanced and the white beds next to the pool are free to use and they're on a first come first serve basis. Drinks and snacks are available at both ends of the pool and there's also a waiter service. We had a lovely afternoon here, sampling some cocktails and soaking up the sunshine. Next to the atmosphere pool is the tropical pool. This is set out over two decks and has a retractable roof so it's good for whatever the weather. It's pretty hot in here which fits in well with the jungle theme. And if the swimming pool is not your thing, you can relax in the 38 degree whirlpools or relax in one of the 140 seats that are available. As much as we like the other two pools, our favourite pool was definitely the Horizon, found on deck 16 right at the back of the ship. You'll find out why this was our favourite in a later episode. It was thirsty work walking around the pools, so we decided to head off and find a bar. It's quite nice, Paulie. Yes, it is the Sky Lounge. Have a squirt, do your hands, and I'll do mine if you grab the GoPro. You seem shocked that I knew where we were going. I am, really. <laughs> so this is the Sky Lounge. Oh, nice, isn't it? So we head towards... Um, Hello. Oh, what a nice spot, Polly. 
still doing it? As we enjoyed a cocktail in the Sky Lounge, we had our first encounter with some fellow travel bloggers. It was great to finally meet Lois of No Cruise Control and her husband Dave in person. We had a lovely chat but unfortunately it was cut short because we had to head off for the new and improved muster drill. Right then! So no, I was just going to say we haven't, said, uh, we haven't said right then for yes. such a long time because we haven't been on a cruise for such a long time. I know. So we're in our cabin as you can probably see. We love it our cabin, aren't we, Paulie yeah. Morgan, so far? Um, balcony cabin on the MSC Virtuosa. We just wanted to, get to touch base. We've just done the muster drill, or the new way of doing the safety drill. Oh, it's definitely the future. It is the future. It was e so easy. Yeah. We literally had to come back to our cabin, watch the safety video, which was a few minutes long, wasn't it, Paul? Five minutes, I believe. Yeah. Was, yeah. Um, which gave you all the information that you would normally get. And then we had to ring a number. We did. Not any particular, just just ring a random number. <laughs> now, <laughs> then you have to, they tell you what to do. So when you've watched a safety video, dial 881. That's it. And, um, and then... Um, you've got a, to go to your assembly. A person at the other end, which is just a recording, says, uh, you may now hang up the phone. And then you wait for further instructions and they announce two decks at a time they seem to be doing. Yeah. And then when they call your deck, you head for your muster station, which you'll find on, on the, the back, back of your, your door. door. Not your muster station, mind that you'll find <laughs> out where your muster station is on the back of your door. And our muster station was E. E. And then you head off to E, yeah. they scan your card, they make you do a lap of the area so you know where you are. And it, it, that was quite painful because we had to walk past the pub and they wouldn't let us stop there, would they? No, they wouldn't. <laughs> but, no, but, um, it was just the area where yeah. our message station was, so we yeah. know um, should there be any uh, disasters. So at least if there's any issues, we know that if the ship does sink, at least we'll be in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, on a positive note, that's a real... I think that, was that's a a, that was a positive note. <laughs> I think that's a real step forward, because yes. going to the master station with your life jacket before was just a pain, yeah. wasn't it? I know oh, it's, was, and it's so necessary, is, yeah. and it's very important, and we get that. Um, and the other thing, we spent ages looking for a life jacket in our cabin, because every cruise we've had before, you have your life jackets in the cabin, and you take them to your master station. Well, not all of them, some of them. Um, but no life jackets in the cabin at all. Um, and we spoke to a girl, say, look, are we looking in the wrong place? Said, no, no life jackets in the cabins anymore. You go to your muster station, which is E, well, ours was E, and then they will give you the, it's all kept there. Yeah. So that's even better, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so you haven't got to so carry So we've been anything. impressed with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so safety drill over. Um, we're going to, we've had a quick wander and... and it's a beautiful ship, isn't it, Paul? Oh, we haven't even we, skimmed the surface yet. No, we haven't. We're, out, we're off out now. We just had a freshen um, up, haven't we? Yes. And we're going to go exploring. We are. And see what we can find. So, yeah. So, um... So, let's go. Yes, let's go. Look at the ceiling now. OMG. It's just balls, isn't it? It's hard to put it into words really poorly, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite spectacular. Yeah, it is spectacular. After not being allowed in the pub during the muster drill, we decided to head back and check it out. Despite there being less than a thousand passengers on this cruise, all the socially distant seats were taken, so unfortunately we had to find a table outside. LED screen look this is where you're sat how amazing is that and we're now it's nearly sail away time so we're just going to head up on deck and, uh, and sail away from Southampton excited for Morgan <laughs> he's got his mask on ready to move ready to move yeah mask wearing actually just to clarify once you're sat at a table you don't have to wear a mask but as soon as you get up you have to so pause 
basically saying, come on, come That's on. Like, yeah, this is the hurry-up signal. <laughs> we love a sail away, and this one took an extra bit of organisation, as the Queen Mary 2 was docked just in front of us. Carol said, I found the perfect spot. As the ship swings out, we'll have a perfect view of the Queen Mary 2. How wrong was she? It's going past the other side. Sorry? It's going past the other side. What? Queen Mary. Yeah, oh, you didn't believe me. Oh. Just leave it there and go and do what go and do your thing. Oh my god, the Queen Mary's just going past. I'm running. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of motion. <laughs> Look at that. At this very moment. MSC Cruises, with all of its officers, staff, and crew, when, when you, our beloved guests, celebrate an inaugural sailing of the beautiful and exotic MSC Virtuosa, we are proud to say we are back. That's Yay! Right. We are back. Woo! We would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity not just to restart, but to restart here in the United Kingdom. None of this would be possible without the hard work and dedication of the front line and NHS work. And so we also take a special moment to thank them. Our safety and health operating protocols have made cruising one of the safest holiday experiences available on Earth. And that is what we wish for you now. A safe and amazing vacation with your loved ones. We are so very excited to look forward to a safe and successful season here in the United Kingdom and for many, many more. We do hope you will enjoy your cruise with us. Thank you once again for being a part of the inaugural set of the MSC Virtuals. So I'm back at the other side. <laughs> well, how did we get that wrong, Paul? Well, we didn't know Queen Mary was no, going to go. Get it wrong. <laughs> Some sort of was hilarious. But you did do, did the proper dad run. It was like it was like Peter K. I love somebody stolen Sarah. Going across the bridge. Oh dear. There but were um, people overtaking you, mate. <laughs> no, there wasn't. There was. What was that? Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, back now. I feel worn out. Yeah, you need a wine. emotionally and physically. Yes, I need a wine. Look, Paul, he's got me a wine. Woo! But now we're off. Look. Hello, how are you? So that's um good. Very good, thank you. Saw you on the television. Ah. Last week. <laughs> you need to speak to my agent. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's just so good, isn't it, to be cruising again? Uh, very emotional. No, no, absolutely. No, really <laughs> so, is. yeah, so thank you very much. No, no, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah. Right, the weather should be fine. I know, we're in for a treat. I know. See you later. See thank you. you. I know. <laughs> Crying again. I, I can't help it. I was going to think I'm a wife, Peter. Every time they see you, it looks like you've been crying. Oh, it's just emotional, the poorly, isn't it? I know you, you don't get emotional. You do a bit. I got emotional when I saw you roll across that bridge. <laughs> I just wish I'd have videoed it and I could have slowed it down oh, like a Baywatch montage. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, we're off too. How exciting. I must admit. Oh, mate, this is awesome, isn't it? This is like the best day ever, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Yes, well this year, the best day this year for sure. This is just amazeballs. Right then, so we're back in the cabin after our first evening on MSC Virtuosa. And it's been fabulous, hasn't it, Paul? We've had a great time, no we doubt have, about that. We have um, dinner in Minuetto, to? Minuetto restaurant. <laughs> I what think she, that's what, what she thought, said. Yeah. What she said. Um, to be fair, the menu it wasn't a huge menu, was it? No, it, I can't be honest. Other cruises we've been on, and even the only other previous MSC cruise we went on, um, lots of choice. But there was only actually there's two things on the menu, which is on every day on the main courses. 
but actual for choosing the day, there was only four items. Wasn't well, there? four yeah. starters, yeah, four, five four. mains, yeah. um, but actually a, a great deal of choice. Um, vegan as well, if that's what you you uh, want. Healthy options. Um, we actually, Paul went for grilled chicken. I know. Which is like he's trying to be good, aren't you? I, I went know. for a beetroot risotto. Which actually I thought, oh, this is going to be interesting. And to be fair, it came out, and obviously, beetroot risotto is never going to be, you can't make that look pretty, can you? Not really, really no. Uh, but it was so tasty. And you said yours was good too. Oh, my didn't chicken you? was lovely, it really was, and the service was excellent. Yeah, puddings were great too. Yeah. So, uh, very impressed with the food so far, aren't we? Yes. Perfect. And then we went to um, the theatre to watch um, Cap <laughs> Caprino. Um, Capriccio. Capriccio. You were going to say cappuccino, which would have been great. Capriccio. Yeah, and we've you know we've had an MSC experience with entertainment before, which have, hasn't been the best. But we've got to say this show. It was only about half an hour, but the vocal abilities of these three guys, three um, operatic, operatic singers, was spectacular. Yeah, wasn't it? I mean, they the harmonising was just amazing. They had the show team, and I don't want to disrespect the dancers. They had the show team sort of dancing in the background, but the vocals were so stunning. That's they, what you they, were focusing on, they, wasn't it? They didn't need any dancers in the background, and it really was. Like I said, all three of them yeah. were fantastic in their own right. Yeah, but when they brilliant. all came together, it was spectacular, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and Gene, the cruise director that we, we never met or known before, um, he seems a real fun guy, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so that, and then we went to um, the Dome. They had a Dome show, because the Dome, the LED screens are just... Well, it's, it's mad, isn't it? It so is mad. You it, can't get your head around it. It's really spectacular. This ship has just got bling. It's got class, hasn't it? It's just, it's pretty. Yeah. It's really, really pretty. And you say it's bling. It's not gaudy. No, bling. no, it's classy bling. It's really bling. tastefully done. But yeah. Yes, it's just everywhere you look, there's something really pretty to look at. Yeah. It's really nice. So that's our first evening, really, isn't it, Paulie? It's our first evening. We've sampled a few cocktails. Miami Vice is my favourite. Yes. Um, yeah, so we're going to head to bed now. It's gone midnight. Um, and see what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what tomorrow might bring. What? Oh my <laughs> God, yes. <laughs> We've got back into the camper. It's, camper? It's still, still the camper, yeah. the camper? <laughs> We've the got cabin. back to the cabin. And we've had an invite. To the for, yacht club. For tomorrow, to the yacht club. Well, it doesn't say tomorrow. It just says, we're pleased... Dear Mo Mr. Morgan, we're pleased and glad to have you in the Yacht Club. Oh, it's only you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have a great day no, tomorrow. And it says, we wait you at the concierge desk on deck 16 at the Friendship in order to collect your Yacht Club daily visit, visit pass. pass. So obviously I'm so, going to have to take lots of photos tomorrow just to just show, show Carol me. what she's missed. Yeah, so. <laughs> so yes, so that's exciting. Yeah. So those of you that don't know it, the Yacht Club is like the luxury ship inside the ship. That's not very well explained, is it? No, I don't even. I even. I. I thought I knew what it was, but even I don't know what it is now. It's. It's a sort of. It's a sort of upper class of the sort of normal what you would get. It's a restricted area. You've got to be yeah, a yacht club go member. It. Yeah. It's a. It's um. It's you, a premier it, service yeah. and premier. It's a private pool. Well, just hey, we'll make this for an idea. Why don't we just go to bed and show them tomorrow? Yeah, that might be an idea. Because we, <laughs> we, we don't basically really know. We don't really know. <laughs> no. But it's going to be nice. Yes. So we're off to bed now, and we'll uh, we'll catch you again in the morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs> If you enjoyed our video, why didn't you watch one of these videos next?